go. Um, here we have the setup for vMix. Um, I'm going to run through quickly just a real simple setup um, to get started. So first thing I'm going to do is add a background in by adding an input and an image. So it's the background that we have. Uh, the next thing we will need is a character animator character. So we're going to go to the uh, NDI input and select what character is in there. Like Depending on how many copies of character animate you've got, there may be different selections, but on the network at the moment we have just the one. So we'll select that one and add him in. Um, I'm also going to create a multi view so we can layer this up. Um, like with our setup, we've got we've got um, a desk in front and uh, the character in the center, and it just kind of um, helps it look a bit better. But you can get really in depth into um, the setups and our different layers and obviously different characters. So I'm just going to get this one set up now. So it's uh, like I say, basic setup. So it's easy and ready to go. Okay, let's just get. Let's gonna find the images. There we are. Then we'll go to the layer, add a layer over the top, and reposition. Like I said, we can um, play around with that and get it looking how you want, but this is a pretty simple way of doing it. Okay, next thing you'll see this we've got the character animator streaming in and the characters doing the expressions that I want him to do. Now just a bit more get him lined up properly. Okay. The next thing that we're gonna need is audio inputs um, because there's no audio that comes through character animator so we need to bring in a separate mic. Um, I've just turned it off for now so it doesn't um, affect the recording. Okay and it's always a good idea to, to name everything because if you start building up lots of layers um, it soon gets very complicated as we've got. We've got loads of different layers and loads of th different things coming out at the moment. That's why we keep uh, accidentally pressing the wrong things. But there you go. That's a um, very simple basic setup. You've got a character that can do a talk show. Next thing now is adding the stream to YouTube. Um, there's different option, setting options in here. I mean, you, it doesn't have to be YouTube. You've got Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, um, all sorts really. Um, but we're going to go through the uh, setup for YouTube um, and we go for the stream now option. Um, it's just a simple case of logging in. So you need to open up your YouTube account. Um, go to your video manager and go to your live stream and there you've got all your YouTube settings but that's pretty much ready to go um, once that's set up and it's on all you've got to do is log in so put in your login details it'll automatically connect up to your um, YouTube account and then once that's all set up, all you have to do is press go. I mean, you've got different settings set up uh, for different qualities and things like that, but you can have a play around and see what suits you best. There we are, digital puppets. And that's it, like I say, you've got um, different resolutions, different uh, bit rates, but you know, that all depends down to you. But once that's all set up and done, all you've got to do is press start. And that's it. That's you know, it's a pretty simple way of setting up um, getting live on YouTube with a character, and that is pretty much it for that section. Oh, well, 